It is a beautiful day here in New York City, a little chilly, but I'll deal with it. Today, I'm exploring the East Village. Now, many regard the East Village as a young and hip area, and when people say this, what they really mean is that there's graffiti murals in vintage clothing stores. Still, I think it's a really cool neighborhood. Lots of great restaurants, really cool stores, nice vibe. It's a pretty good place. And speaking of restaurants, it's time for lunch. Let's go. Alright, lunchtime now. I'm at this casual Japanese street food type restaurant. I got a couple things. Got okono, okonomiyaki. Always say that wrong. I'm probably saying it wrong right now, but whatever. I'm hungry. So, okonomiyaki is like a Japanese savory pancake with pretty much whatever. And I also got an order of takoyaki. Pretty much octopus balls. Got a bonito flakes on there. This looks really good. All my stuff looks really good. Yeah, this is so good. Pure comfort food right here. The okonomiyaki, awesome. Love the pork belly flavor. I got it with mild spice. Really nice toppings. Can't complain. That is so good. Yeah, the takoyaki, that's a winner as well. So I know my okonomiyaki looks like a bunch of random crap on a plate, but let me tell you, it is good random crap on a plate. Whew, really, really good lunch. Hit the spot, now I need something sweet, and we're gonna continue this Japanese theme and get some mochi. Oh, look what we have here. Free toilets. Can my day get any better? I literally walked right past this place. Found it, time for some mochi. All right, got my mochi. I got the caramel banana flavor. It looks really good. Nice and small, I'm not too hungry. Big lunch, but this should be the sweet bite that I need. Nice little uh, toothpicky thing here. That is so good. Nice and smooth mochi. The perfect texture. Great flavor with the caramel banana. Perfect. Yo, I'm Blake Gibby. Blake Gibby with two Y's at the end on Instagram. I'm a fashion student, model, coming at you. What's your name? James. James, this is James. You guys probably know him. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, a little bit. Do you have Instagram? Yep. Sick. Here's my phone. Guys, he's robbing me. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so nice to meet your friends today. I know, right? I just think yeah. it's the camera. Say hi, you the camera. Hi, <laughs> Alright, that was mine. Sick. Wait, Paris Hilton follows you? Yeah. I also do some like paintings and I did one of her and she kind of likes Oh, do really? Yep. It's so nice meeting you, dude. Nice meeting you too. Have a good one, guys. You see, that's one of the best parts of New York City. You meet so many new and interesting people. Love NYC. All right, finished my mochi. Time to get coffee. All right, so thankfully this is the East Village. That means I'm never too far away from a coffee shop. There's one right across the street. Let's go. All right, right now I'm at Tompkins Square Park, about to sit back and enjoy my coffee. It's from 787, haven't been there, but looked like a good place. Now these village is largely centered around this park. Beautiful area. We're gonna do some exploring right after I finish my coffee, of course. There are a lot of friendly squirrels at Tompkins Square Park. While I drink my coffee, gonna do a little reading, gonna read The Dark Forest. Now this book is the sequel to The Three Body Problem, which was an amazing work of science fiction. So far, I'm almost done with this book actually, but I really have been enjoying it. For a fiction book, it makes me think so much about the future, about technology, science, really been enjoying it.
Now behind me, right outside Tompkins Square Park, is a row of colorful old buildings. Architecturally, I think this is one of the most beautiful sites in the East Village. It looks stunning at any time of the year, but during the fall, amazing. All right, really pleasant time at Thompson Square Park. Very beautiful. Now, we're gonna go check out some uh, community gardens. Now, there are community gardens throughout the city, but in terms of Manhattan, the East Village has the most. It has about 10% of all the community gardens in this borough. Let's go see some gardens. All right, I found the community garden. Let's go. Unfortunately, that community garden wasn't quite open yet. I mean, it is still very early in the season, but I still was able to see a lot from the outside fence. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to go there when it's fully open. Plus, I just love the whole concept of a community garden. I mean, it takes a vacant piece of land, an eyesore, turns it into something beautiful, meant to be shared among everyone. All right, maybe some community gardens will actually be open. Let's check some more out. That is such a cool looking building. I just love that color. Right outside another community garden. This one is a pretty unique one. Tons of crazy sculptures. It looks like a modern art sculpture garden, but it's pretty interesting. Once again, it's closed. My timing sucks today, but at least I can still see pretty much the whole thing from behind the fence here. I have found another community garden, but that one's also closed. Regarding the community gardens, I should have gone way earlier when they were actually open, but I did still see a lot from the outside, of course. Still, no regrets. Now I'm going to a really cool store, Toy Tokyo. It's a Japanese toy store. I went there once all the way back in 2016 when I was visiting New York City for the first time, not moving here, visiting. Can't wait to get back. That's one of the best things about the East Village. It has such a unique variety and diversity of stores and restaurants. Oh, I love it here. I just finished shopping at Toy Tokyo. I bought this little hamster toy with a egg on it. Pretty unique. Is it a wise use of my money? Probably not. Although it definitely will be a nice little ornament to adorn my bookshelf. So that's where I'm gonna end it today. Really great day. Great food, great sights, met new people, got a new toy. Can't complain. The East Village is a wonderful neighborhood. I can't wait to get back and eat a hell of a lot more, do a hell of a lot more, and just, you know, do more.